To solve an equation like this with variables on both sides, what I'm going to need to do is subtract 2x here. And what that will do is get rid of the x on the right side of the equation. So then I'll be left with the x's only on the left side. 4x minus 2x. Take the 4x's, take away two of them. That's going to leave me with 2x. And all over I get 2x plus 1. 2x minus 2x, that cancels and leaves me with 12. Now I have a uh, two-step equation which I can solve. <clears throat> I'm going to first get rid of the 1 by subtracting 1. Anything I would do on one side I have to do to the other. The 1's on the left side cancel, leaving me with 2x and 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. So now I know that 2 times x is equal to 11. In order to get rid of the 2, I'm going to have to do the inverse of multiplication, which is, of course, division. I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and therefore x is equal to 11 divided by 2, which is going to be 5 and a half, or if I want to write it as a decimal, 5.5. So again, I started by getting all of my x's on the same side by canceling them on, on one side and then I to get the x by itself I subtracted 1 and finally divided by 2. Let's do a quick check to wrap this up. To do this check I'm going to take the 5.5 and I'm going to plug it in to a copy of the original equation. 4 times 5.5 is going to be 22 and uh, 22 plus 1 is equal to 23. The left side of this is equal to 23. Let's see about the right side. 2 times 5.5 is 11. And yes, 11 plus 12 is indeed 23. So x does satisfy our equation. The whole thing checks out. Thank you.